part B. You are provided with two portions of solid D and sodium hydrogen carbonate, each weighing 2.5 grams. You are required to determine the heat of reaction of hydrochloric acid with aqueous sodium hydrogen carbonate. Procedure B, procedure 1B. Using a 100 ml measuring cylinder, measure 30 cm cube of distilled water and place it in a 100 ml plastic beaker. Measure the temperature of the distilled water and record it table 3. Add one of the portion of solid D to the water. Stir the thermometer. Measure the minimum temperature uh, reached. Minimum temperature reached. Record the reading. The initial temperature was 20 degrees Celsius uh, when water reacted with the solid D and the final temperature was 18. So you see temperature dropped from 20 to 18. So when you subtract 18 because we are supposed to, supposed to subtract 8 if I know minus initial the answer is only to be negative but for temperature we don't write negative 2 because that is the temperature change right so therefore we just write 2 degrees celsius 2 degrees what celsius that's our difference but you should know now that because temperature dropped initial temp the final temperature is lower than the initial it tells you that the reaction is endothermic the reaction is endothermic that is the only uh information we get from there so don't include the negative here when you are subtracting calculate the heat change of the solution assume specific heat capacity of solution is four point that the density of the solution is this so we know that heat change is equal to mass of the solution times specific heat capacity times temperature change times temperature change uh, so the, the, the mass of the solution our solution was 30 centimeters cube so 30 centimeters cube 30 centimeters cube is as good as 30 grams uh, 30 grams why because when you calculate the density we know that the density equal to mass over volume so the density of water is one you have been given is here and the mass is what we are looking for and the volume is that so when we multiply both sides by 30 times 30 we get that this one the mass x is equal to 30 grams therefore 30 centimeters cube is the same as 30 grams so now we have so our mass here is 30 in grams we convert it to kilograms by dividing a thousand times specific heat capacity we have been given here 4.2 times temperature change our temperature change here is 2 so you multiply this times this the answer is equal to 0 0.252 kilo kilojoules calculated the mass the number of moles calculated the number of moles of sodium hydrogen carbonate solid d used relative formula mass equal to 84 so we know that more um, how do you get the number of moles so moles moles equal to mass divided by rfm relative formula mass is the rfm but we are talking about solid D. What was the mass of solid D? You come back and see we had 2.5 grams of solid D. Therefore, um, our mass now equals, so we come and say that 2.5 divided by 80 will give us the number of moles. And this is equal to 0.029. 76 moles so that is the number of moles of solid d calculate the heat change h1 in the kilojoules per mole of sodium hydrogen carbonate now we know that this heat this heat here was produced by 0 
0.02976 moles. We are going to ask one mole would produce how much heat per mole. So 0 0.02976 moles produced 0 0.252 kilojoules. We will ask one mole will produce how much heat. So it is 1 times 0 0.252 we divide by 0. 02976. This one will give us 8.4677 kilojoules per mole. Kilojoules per mole. Now, because the reaction was endothermic, the reaction was endothermic, therefore we include the sign positive that the reaction was endothermic because temp the final temperature uh, was lower than the initial procedure two clean the clean 100 plastic picker repeat the procedure using the second mm -hmm, solution c1 now instead of distilled water we are using solution c1 so the my temperature initial was 20 final was 14 uh, so temperature change is 6 14 minus 20 is negative 6 so you don't write negative 6 when you are dealing with temperature temperature cannot uh, can be negative yes we can have a temperature of negative 6 but because this is a the difference, so you write just 6 degrees Celsius. Calculate the heat change of solution, assuming the specific capacity of solution is this. So we are going to repeat the same. We know that heat change to equal to mass specific heat capacity times temperature change. Uh, The volume is 30, we divide by 1000 times 4.2 times temperature change which is 6. So this one will give us 0 0.756 kilojoules. But the information we have here is that the reaction is endothermic. The reaction is endothermic. Calculate the heat change H2 in, kilo, in kilojoules per mole of sodium hydrogen carbonate. We know the number of moles of sodium hydrogen carbonate we have calculated because even this one was, it was 2.5 grams, so it is the same. So, moles of sodium hydrogen carbonate, we know them, equal to 0. 0.0. 2976 that is the number of moles so this number of moles produce this heat what about one one mole will produce what amount of heat So that one, that is one times the zero point seven five six. We divide it by zero point zero two nine seven six, and that one will give us twenty five point four zero three kilojoules per mole. Now, because the reaction was and the temperature decreased from initial to final was less than the initial, then we know that the reaction was endothermic and we included the positive. Heat, calculate the heat change, H3, which is equal to change in H2 
minus change in h1 so that is change in h3 is equal to change in h2 we have that one which is 25.403 subtract h1 which was 8.4677 and this one will give us positive 16 it's positive 16 point point nine three five kilojoules per mole.